Welcome back, I'm the Emperor, and this is Star Trek Resurgence. Let's see what this planet in the episode What Lies Beneath has in store for us. Now, I can't get my tricorder out, meaning I just have to examine it. Resembles underwater plant life on Earth. The universe is full of mysteries. Indeed. I wonder if I will be able to figure out anything about the lichen as well. Doesn't appear to be lichen centric stuff. Rydick here. This is Irma. Any trouble getting to the surface? I'm really starting to miss transporters. As long as this storm is around, you'd better learn to light shuttles. But if you can find the cause of the interference, we might be able to get back to transporting. As if I needed another incentive. We both know there's a lot more than that riding on this. Fair enough. You'll need to get in and out of the mine undetected, so I hope Minister Tylus can help in that regard. So do I. And to keep this covert, we'll refrain from contact unless absolutely necessary. Understood. Rydick out. Well, let's see how far we can make it undetected. My suspicion is not very. Ooh, crouching mechanics. Hello, hello. The ionic interference is coming from underground. I should find a safer way down there. Okay, I can look at some fog or steam coming up and I know exactly what that is. That the signal? Where are we supposed to meet? Very subtle. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Tiny little bit of a screen stuttering there. I saw your shuttle take off. Hopefully no one else did. Well. It's good to see you. Even under these unfortunate circumstances. When you called to give us a scan, it sounded like they caught you. I was worried you'd been hurt. It was nothing I couldn't handle. Is there some Lead romance away. brewing here? I'll fill you in on what we've learned about the situation. Follow me. But we were genuinely worried. I mean, we tried to get a shuttle or someone to go back to, for her and the device help her. And Sidron brought back from the mines is being used to control some sort of warp disruption weapon that has the resolute trapped in Hotari space. According to our readings, the power source for that device is on this moon, at the specific coordinates I sent you. That sounds impossible, but explains the rumors of the Hotari controlling the ionic storm. We strongly suspect the device was created by an ancient empire known as the Takan. The Takan? Once the most powerful civilization in the galaxy, but they've been gone for over 600,000 years. It's hard to believe there's something like that on Tau. Which is why I need proof. If we find hard evidence that Galvin and his allies are hiding dangerous Takan technology, I can convince the Federation to let us intervene. Understood. We're almost there. All right. Let's see what we got. Oh, more fog. Or just a big vista. Vista. Some cool looking spaceships or floating platforms or something. That's the mine. Prospect 614 North, Subdivision 20. It's enormous. What do you think a mine is? The pride of Hotari. How do we get inside? The structure that circles the mine has entry points for transporting equipment into the lower levels. They're guarded, but nothing I can't get past using my authority. Well, that's good to hear. As long as you can avoid being seen, I should be able to talk my way past any miner. And provide a little distraction for you in the process. How do I avoid being seen? You don't use the door. I have a feeling How that. Dare you 
Don't you know who I am? I... I am Tylus Altaris, Minister of Diplomatic Affairs. That's not... The Queen would be furious to hear you try to deny me entry. The Queen? But I just... You just... Just what? Just now realize the trouble you've made for yourself? And who exactly do you think you're going to report this to? I think it's I'll be reporting to as well. To someone much further up the ladder. You have no authority here. Do you understand who pays your wage? I can inform the Queen directly of this instance. I don't want to interrupt their talking here with my thoughts. You should have opened the doors the second I appeared before you. That's not the <sighs> Not going that way. I don't know what I'm looking at. Okay. Let's get a look inside you. Inside who? Prevent solid matter from passing through. Ah, yeah, sure. We know that. I mean, didn't really need to figure that one out. How do I get out of it again? No. No. How do I get back? How do I get out of this? I've done all the scanning. I can't even turn much further. Pressing 2 doesn't do anything. Okay, there, there's another thing to scan, apparently. Component focusing the pattern of the force field. Very good, then there must be something else to scan here, maybe? <laughs> ah, there's another thing. Signal receiver that controls field activation. Complete scan. Oh! Okay, we just okay. We, all right, sure. I mean, I kind of want to see what's over on this edge. What I was saying earlier was, I think we're gonna get in trouble for not getting our injection thing. Like they hyped that up. I feel okay. There's nothing here anymore. Dang. Let's do a little bit of sprinting. Everyone knows in stealth sections, sprinting is the best way of doing what you're supposed to be doing. Why was this even here? And why could I not just clamber over these? Ah, well, we're not going to question it. Well, at, at least not any further than that. Better hurry. Not sure how long she can keep him busy. They have a whole one guard here. Maybe they do, then again, they, they don't expect anyone to come in here, I suppose. Hmm. Might be rigged to only open for registered users. No control panel here. I should take a look with my tricorder. Yeah, but let's look elsewhere. I'm sure it's completely pointless to do that there, so... Might control the exit door. Hmm. Need to see inside it. Let's go see inside it. There's no... any of that. Something in here is keeping that door closed. Scans. Prevent solid matter from passing through the door. Contains record of personnel with access. Let's complete the scan. Should remove the security check on the door. Of course. I mean, that was to be expected. This place really could use some better maintenance. Maybe get to... Can't crouch with your tricorder equipped. I mean... I didn't do that, or I didn't try that, but... Alright. Wait, did I do... It... Oh, I just had to walk into it. I thought I made a mistake, but I just had to walk against it. That was not helpful at all. Find Tylus. Is Tylus behind those boxes there? 
It's like a little game of hide and seek. Oh, that rogue's pretty cool. Vault. There's no button for it. I didn't come here to educate an imbecile on royal protocol. Of course not, Minister. So I will be about my business here, and you will take yourself out of my sight. Ah, that's so gonna catch up to her later. You, are. you really let that guy have it. It worked, didn't it? I'm used to having to throw my weight around. Hard to get anyone to listen to you otherwise. Gotta admit, I'm a little afraid of you now. You're lucky we're on the same side. I'd say so. The catwalks were booby-trapped. Galvin and Sidron have gone to great lengths to keep out the uninvited. Well, we're inside. Where do you want to start? The ionic interference is coming from below us. We need to go deeper. That lift goes down, at least to the changeover station. But we can't use it without DNA authorization from one of the guards. I have an idea, but... We need a few samples of DNA from the miners who work here. Samples? Fingerprints, sweat, blood. Blood, sure. The machine and get us control of the lift. That's the theory. Let's test it. <laughs> Alright. So we're just gonna go scan stuff around here now. Let's do that. Let's have a little fun game of scanning things. I don't even know if it's a fun game because honestly there's nothing showing up and I have a feeling that I need to walk up to these places first. This facility doesn't seem well maintained. Hey, I remarked that very same thing. An Elydian console. All the managerial technology in the mines is Elydian. So they can keep an eye on their investment. That's how it is. Okay, what do we have here? There's DNA on this console, but it's only partial. I can't use this. Dang. Maybe because we're outside. The weather out here could dilute any DNA samples. What about inside that structure? That's where the workers spend most of their time. Good idea. Bet there's no workers there then, if that's where they spend most of their time. Okay, there's a lot of consoles here. Come on. Wow, that is a lot of DNA. I should look for the most concentrated spots. Residual oil deposits. Okay. I'm, I'm, I scan that, but I feel like there's another thing to scan. Okay, there's just sections to this to scan, but it's kind of unclear. That's a stable DNA sample. It's only partial, but a few more should do it. Okay, let's get this thing Not as concentrated well. Concentrated enough. I should try somewhere else. This one doesn't have anything interesting. That is a thing on the other side of this door. I don't need to look at anything. I don't Not need to enough. see if anyone is here. Looking. I can use this. What? Okay, I'm being walked around to the side because I scanned it through the door. If that doesn't help, I don't know what will. Good. That's another I could use. Just need one more sample. This. It's gonna be this. It's, it's a food platter. There's gotta be stable DNA here. Food and drink. Huh? Huh? Perfect. That's enough to make the DNA profile. Time to go back to the lift. All right, I mean, that was... Almost looks like coffee. Almost. I'll have some Ractagino when I get back to the ship. That's the thing I replicated. Yay. Like, do I stare at more things? Food, cutlery. I mean, it's probably cool learning about Hotari and stuff, but... We're here on a mission. It's You're important. You're not coming inside? There are some things I'd rather not smell. Ah. Okay.
Okay, then. What am I doing now? What's in all these containers? These contain mining supplies, tools, energy packs for machinery. Shouldn't mining supplies be inside the mines? It is troubling. The workers here aren't mining. What's that then, if that's not mining? Oh, I don't have to. She does that. It worked. Theory proven. I'll get it started. Ready? Let's go. Did we create like a new hybrid person out of the DNA samples? Or did we recreate one certain person who all this is going to be pinned on? I'm a little afraid of what we might find down there. We'll be okay. I've survived worse than this. Well, I haven't. But I'll put my faith in you. For now. Maybe you shouldn't. But after all, I am a commander of Starfleet. I have all manner of Jara. trust in myself. No, stay back. We'll have to hide. <gasps> oh no! It's a pretty open platform. Where, wherever will I hide? Oh, there. Right. <laughs> okay. Because they won't be able to look down on this platform as we pass them. Who are you? What are you doing here? You watch your tone with me. I'm Tylus Altaris, Minister of Diplomatic Affairs. I speak for the Queen herself. This is a restricted area. No one gains access without the approval of Galvin or Sidron. Wait. Jewess Gawad Abowencha. Oh. Are you all right? We shot a man. I, I don't know. Are you injured? No, I, I just... I thought if I could talk my way through like always, I'd be fine, but I, I, I'm a diplomat. This isn't what I do. I've never even fired a weapon. This is just, it's real now. I wasn't ready for this. Hey. That's a really I'm real person. moment. I appreciate that. And you? I was a tactical officer before I was posted to the Resolute. I know my way around a phaser. You saw how I handled our large friend here. I suppose that is somewhat reassuring. My authority has never been challenged like that. It meant nothing to him. So we should assume any Hatari we encounter from here on can't be reasoned with. Yeah, let's just make broad assumptions, the sure. The loyalty they have down here is to Galvin and Sidron. Can you switch over the lift? Guard should have a scan card that will allow us to operate the switch. Oh, maybe it's the helmet. Got it. He's not dead, is he? He's still one of my people, and I didn't come here to take Otari lies. My phaser's set to stun. He'll be perfectly fine, just unconscious for a while. I see. We don't have that sort of technology on our weapons. Good to know. I like that. Starfleet phases, just no matter what species they encounter, stun is always stun. You, you, it's never, you know, the wrong setting. No matter what species, if they know them or not, it doesn't matter. Always works. Well, I mean, not always, obviously, but it doesn't kill them. At least I can't remember an episode of anything where it might have. If you knew, do know one, let me know down in the comments. Correct me. I'd like to know. I'd like to revisit. The energy readings are emanating from this tunnel. It's sure to be guarded in there. Stay low and follow my lead. All right, let's have a quick Is look that down all here. Dilithium? Not all of it. We excavate large chunks of rock that contain varying amounts of dilithium ore. It's sorted and processed at the collector ship above. I love how the frames just drop looking up at that thing.
That's not how that looked a second ago, but we'll take it, we'll take it, it's fine, it's okay. I wonder when we'll switch back to the res uh, resolution. Resolute. I take that as a sign we're getting close. I'll get a closer look. Mm. Looks like they've improvised a barrier. Yes, we must be getting closer. What are all these numbers? <gasps> Sidron? Galvan? No, just another god. We need that particular card, don't we? I'm afraid so. For what? It didn't even do anything. We don't have time to wait for them to finish whatever they're doing. We'll have to try to keep low and sneak past them. Dang. I'm starting to see the utility of a phaser. I wouldn't stand a chance against all three of them. That's a very realistic uh, view of the of the situation. Can you open that door? Not without that scan card. I don't like our options here. I have to get us that card so we can open the door. How? If they detect you, Galvin and Sidron's followers are clearly willing to kill to protect whatever is in this mine. Hey, I'm trained for this. <laughs> I'll be fine. You are, but I'm not. What should I do? Avoid being seen. Stick to the edge of the room and meet me at the door. All right. I am really, really bad at stealth. So let's see if I can do this. Okay. During stealth sequences, there are enemies that, if alerted, will hunt you or hunt for you all and try to catch you. If you're caught, your mission has failed. Dang. I don't know how to. Um... Cool. I don't. All right. Okay. I didn't. I didn't read through all the information there, so let's just hope my general knowledge of stealth sections in games will be enough to navigate us through this. That's a very sultry, sultry voice line. Okay, I think the, the extra red border here is probably a bad sign. Now, I'm assuming every time this dude walks over, we have a little window of opportunity to get past. So, let's go and hope that guy doesn't immediately look straight at us. Couldn't listen to that because I was a little bit confused here. Okay, Processing. he's walking over. Let's hope that's fine. Is there two of them right there? Yeah, so he's probably gonna go in a bit of a circle there. I don't know what the. Okay. He's not. There might be a way around over there, so we have to wait for him to go past this. And now this we can try and walk around here, hopefully. Yeah, that sort of worked. There's something to look at. But... Are you hiding from me? What me? No. Yeah, yeah, certainly. I feel like I need to look at the thing down there, but let's just let's just not. Let's just get the card. I hope this other guy doesn't ever move. Why did they even put it there? No. Don't look at me. I don't exist. Oh, um Okay. I'm gonna go down there apparently. That's definitely not safe. Okay, 
patience, brother. We'll get our chance. What are you talking about? Do a little bit more exposition, please. Can we open this? It's a big gamble. Yeah, that no one heard that for sure. That was super quiet. Super stealth. Super sneak. <laughs> Alright, let's get in there. It's funny that Star Trek technology... I mean, this is just basically NFC. Near field communications. We have this now. No one heard that either. I mean, they can't follow us anymore. We have we have the one Stay and close. only card for this. I mean, I can see the lasers there. So Stop. let's try what? and not walk into Motion them. Sensors. Yeah. They'll trigger an alarm. We'll be found. Invisible to the naked eye. They could be anywhere. How will we get through? Tricorder time. I mean, am I supposed to scan them or just kind of use it to to walk past them? I mean, I don't even know where I'm supposed to go and this seems fairly safe. I mean, you can, you can see them pretty well, pretty clearly. Even without the tricorder. Okay, I'm not supposed to scan these transmitters, so... Is that pretty visible? Then again, I'm, I'm afraid that my hubris will get the better of me. And that they're actually not visible enough. You know, like there's some sneaky ones that I can only see with a tricorder. <laughs> Alright then. Okay then. Well, I mean, they tried. They tried. Didn't even need any fancy Starfleet tech to get past this. How do we get out though? Oh right, maybe we get to have transporters again. Why are we surprised to find a dead Alidian? Or are we mainly surprised it's a fresh dead Alidian? Oh, okay, there's a lot of dead Alidians. I mean, we heard that they this. did that. No? That's where the uprising started. Pretty graphic for Star Trek. There's a lot of them. Otari, don't do this. We defend ourselves, but we don't kill on this scale, this level of savagery. There's no such thing as a bloodless rebellion. I, I don't know if we should keep going. So much death. Them. We'll make sure they didn't die for nothing. What we learn here could save the rest of your people. Okay. Okay. I like it. It's not whatever happened here. It made the Elidians abandon the mines. It's a really Let's good story so far. I like the characters. They're kind of. I mean, they're not necessarily real characters, but they have some depth. Like this. This lady not being completely fine with everything we're encountering here. You rarely see something like that being expressed. Otari and Elidian. Both sides took a beating. <laughs> I wouldn't call that a beating. That looks more like a massacre. Alright. Otari fortified the side of the room opposite the door. 
It's a good tactic, but a few crates aren't going to stop fully armed Elidian soldiers. How did they win? Footprints. Elidian boots. Running back the way we came. It's a good thing we already know exactly what Elidian boots look like. Tylus. What? What kind of weapon did this? This is like nothing I've ever seen or heard of. M my people don't have a weapon that does this. Mm. Curious can you tell me? and curiouser. The tricorder is beeping. It wants to talk to us. There's something in there. Alidians have four hearts, all are stopped, and the veins that feed them are clogged with quantized spin crystallization. The crystals appear to have grown from inside the flesh after an initial penetration. The process ruptured several internal organs uh, randomly. The process may not have been fatal instantly. Well, that's unpleasant. Crystal growth of unknown origin lodged inside a Lydian skull. Emits low levels of tetrametric radiation. What an awful way to die. This must be why the Elidians are so afraid. Technology that surpasses their own. In the hands of the Hotari that they've lorded over for centuries. Where did this weapon come from? Well, the crystals are giving off tetrametric pulses. If I set my tricorder to search for that frequency... It'll lead us right to the source. Hmm. Radiation is visible through your tricorder and will lead you to the, uh, the four green lights on the left will indicate the tricorder is facing the source of radiation. Okay, but there's more things I want to look at before. Let me let me check these things out. Like what happened here? The Elidian shot to kill. But if they killed him. Why was he shot in the back? Oh, you're right. The shot came from the side the Hatari were defending. We don't kill our own. And he wasn't just caught in the middle. Dang, this is a deeper mystery. Killed by the same crystallization as the Elidian. Whose side was the killer on? Like a whole hole here? Trying not to fall into. Tylus, you may not want to look down there. I've come too far to. What is this? They've been dumping bodies down here. Uh, uh, unforgivable. Galvin and Sidron will be made to answer for this. Um, I have my doubts, but. Okay, our tricorder wants to talk to us More again. These crystals. We'll check it out, little tricorder. I wanna, I wanna talk to this boring Tyler's. machine. What is this machine? It's for tunnel boring. The cone on the front is covered in disruptors that allow it to melt through the solid rock. They don't seem to have finished the tunnel. Why stop here? I wonder. Let's check this out here. Why were you beeping, tricorder? There's nothing there. I think I'm already triggered on the other thing, so I can't scan that anymore. So I need to look, I mean. It's going that way. Think they parked this here on purpose? One way to find out. Need any help? Of course you know how to operate this. I've got it.
I kind of don't want to walk in front of that. This concentration of tetrametric radiation has never been recorded. Whatever they're hiding, it's right through here. And is that dangerous for us? Is that something we can just walk into? I would like some more information before possibly being exposed to absolutely incredibly dangerous levels of radiation. Please and thank you. This feels strange. The crystals are increasing, growing outward, replacing the soil. It's like an infection, a parasite, growing inside Tau. But it's a pretty parasite. I mean, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? Incredible. This is definitely not Hotari. Don't underestimate your people, huh? <laughs> you don't know. It's the remnants of the Takan Empire. I don't think we should be here. This is exactly where we should be. Every strange thing we've seen in this system, it might all come from this room. We need to learn everything we can. Okay, let's go. Collect data and bring it back to Starfleet. What are we looking at? It's made of the same crystalline material as the rest of this place. But I can't tell much else. It might be some kind of sleep mode. I can't analyze this further unless it starts working normally. Maybe we can turn it on from somewhere else. Hopefully. Let's keep looking around. I mean, I saw another way in that direction. So I'm assuming that's where we need to go. Somewhat resembles a transporter pad. Okay. But it ain't. This is the way I meant. What all this? Interestingly enough, I'm not allowed to switch through the different modes here. Unless the game allows me. Crystallized lithium compounds. Its internal structure is extremely ordered. In fact, the states of these crystals on a subatomic level suggests a storage device of some kind. Energy levels are both stable and ordered, like information. Some of them appear to be depleted. What kind of information would you deplete? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Hello. <laughs> there, this looks like a thing. Tetramatic and okay, so is that a thingle thing? Okay, let's see. Empty and full slots are different constructed. Does this solid matter change form? Radically complex crystalline device. Purpose unknown. It's nothing biological here. This suggests there's some type of complex life form contained within each crystal. Life form? There's something alive in these tiny crystals? That's what it says. But hard to imagine how that's possible. Okay, let's touch them. 
<laughs> That's how we figure it out. Our science division will have a field day with this. We need to study it on the ship. Or, you yeah, know, let's just steal it then. Can we steal more? For scientific they purposes, of course. Different than the others. These haven't been depleted yet. How are you holding up? I knew Galvin and Citron were dangerous. Now I know they're more powerful than I could have imagined. But the worst of it is knowing they got there by turning our people against their own. True. True. It's all very horrible. Why are these all over the floor? They resemble the one we scanned earlier. It must no longer contain a life form. Dang. I guess they're of no use once depleted. It's pretty horrible, huh? This place feels wrong. I'll get what I need, and we can get out of here. Thank you. I'm trying, I'm trying. Let's see, is there another side to this? Or did they not believe in symmetry when they built this place? No, they did believe in symmetry when they built this place. Can your device read this? It can roughly translate the words, but we don't have enough Taconian language on record to understand how it's structured. Oh, wow. I mean, wouldn't even the words already help a little bit? Is that... no? That's not how it works. Apparent control surface, unknown how to interface with device. Quantized spin crystal resembles the weapon form, may have been used on the victims. Mm -hmm. Focus energy to perform replication of matter. So is a weapon replicator? What is it? The device's primary function is to transmute lithium into this quantized crystalline compound. Possibly for the creation of weapons. Do you think one of these was used on that Elydian in the tunnels? Such a cruel weapon. Oh boy. Jara? I see it. What's happening? Someone turned it on. There's no one here. But maybe the device I saw in the palace can send a signal? If that's the case, we may not be alone for long. Let's hurry. Alright, so we scan this again now that it's active. nothing bio about this see tetrametric flowers uh, that was too hard too diluted to record okay this can't be right It's putting out almost 50 zeta joules of energy. Not 50 zeta joules. Enough to power this entire quadrant. This amount of power, the, the kind of radiation it's putting out, it's it's the cause of the storm. The warp disrupting beam, all of it. What do we do now? We get back to the resident. They have to know about this. Come on, let's Uh-oh. Caught. Quickly, we have to hide. But there's nowhere to hide. Okay, let's follow Tyler's. Let's see where she would like to hide. Not with the weapon. I mean, that would be foolish, right? Oh dang! This is outrageous. I demand you let me go. No need to complain. 
You're about to receive a gift beyond your wildest imagination. Hmm. If anything, I consider it an honor. Uh, quickly. <laughs> what was that little fanfare? It's a very tense moment. That little fanfare was really out there. No, don't take more of these thingies. I can make sure the Hotari get the better end of the bargain. So can I. Dang. All right, I think our face to face situation will have to wait until next time. So, I hope you enjoyed this. I certainly did. As I said, this is very, very well written. Like this, this is some good stuff. This is some Star Trek stuff right here. So, thank you so much for watching. See you around. Check out the Discord. Check out the Twitch. We stream three times a week. Until next time, bye-bye.